Why play Gwen Jungle? Well, she has a quick and healthy clear. She scales into a late game beast, she cuts through tanks with ease, and she brings tons of sustained and burst damage. However, she doesn't have any hard CC so her ganks aren't the best, and she is on the squishier side for champions who want to go in. Gwen's passive is her basic attacks on hit deal additional damage scaling with the target's max health. In addition, she also heals for a good amount of this bonus damage, and she gets even more bonus damage against jungle monsters. Gwen's Q has a passive where her attacks generate a stack, and these stacks can be tracked underneath her health bar. The active is a cone skill shot which causes her to snip her scissors twice. However, for each stack of her Q she's got, she snips an additional time. The final snip will always do more damage, and enemies within the center take true damage instead. So essentially, she wants to attack four times and use this ability. Gwen's W creates a large circle around her, and when within, she gains bonus armor and magic resist, and is untargetable by all enemies outside of the mist. If she moves out of the mist or recasts the ability, the mist then moves to her again. And if she moves out of it after this, the ability is cancelled. Gwen's E causes her to dash in a direction, and for the next four seconds, her attacks deal bonus damage on hit, gain bonus attack speed, and her attacks also gain bonus range. This ability can be used as an auto attack reset, and her first attack after using this will lower its cooldown. Gwen's ultimate is a straight line skill shot which has three different activations. The first throws out a single needle which deals damage and slows enemies hit. The second activation throws out three needles which deal damage and slow. And the final activation throws out five needles which deal damage and slow. For combos, start with an auto attack into E, followed by three auto attacks. After this, use your Q for massive burst damage while using W to avoid damage as needed. And your all-in combo is to use your ultimate into your E and an attack. Follow up with ult again into two attacks before ending with your final ultimate into another attack and your massive Q burst damage. Of course, using W as needed. For matchups, Gwen is great into tanky junglers who she easily cuts through. And she can struggle against hard duelists who easily fight her within her mist and blow her up. For runes, take this. Conqueror has great synergy with her kit and she stacks it incredibly fast. For build order, start Blue Monster and Pot into Nash's Tooth and Tier 2 Boots. After this, a Rift Maker and Zonyos are great pickups before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then E then Q again before taking W. After this, max Q then E then W taking Alt whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Smite and Ghost. Starting the game, you have a few different options. As Gwen's early game ganks are pretty bad, you almost always want to do a full clear into the Scuttle Crab. From here, if there's a ridiculous, incredibly free gank, you can go for it, otherwise just back and clear again. Also, as a different method, between Gwen's passive, her ability to kite camps with her E and her W massively reducing the damage she takes, she can often just do a second jungle clear immediately. After doing two full clears, her first back is amazing and gets the item and stats she needs to actually be able to solo objectives. So as your ganks aren't incredibly strong, this gives you the ability to have massive value by getting objectives for your team. Entering the mid game, you're still going to have a large focus on objectives. Keep up aggressive wards, look for picks and take objectives. Also, you can play a split push role where you push your side lane in before rotating once again back to the objectives. Entering late game team fights, you can either play as the frontline champion dealing massive damage to their frontline, relying on your W to keep you safe from their backline. Otherwise, you can play as the frontline looking to dive onto their backline, where if you get the opportunity, you can simply dash onto their backline and blow someone off the map. 